Welcome back to Art Everybody and today we're going to be exploring Cubism and we're going to look at Cubism through the lens of the artist Pablo Picasso who was a Cubist and then we're going to give it a more contemporary bent by investigating Sandra Silberg's week and looking at different kind of patterning. Let's take a look at the video. At the beginning of the 20th century, Pablo Picasso, who is a Spanish artist, was involved in the Cubist movement of art. This involved looking at an object from various perspectives at the same time. So with his portraits, he would look at the side of a woman and the front of the woman and place them side by side. Cubism reduces natural forms to geometric shapes and places them next to each other. Canadian artist Sandra Silberg's wig also does the same, but she uses the space to create patterns. And so each geometric shape is patterned. This cubist sculptural unit is a great way to use all those cardboard bits you have been recycling and have kept for a rainy day. Cut out your shapes and gesso them. You will need eyes, a nose, a mouth or two, eyelids, eyebrows, cheeks, hair, a neck and maybe some ears. A couple of coats of gesso will whiten your card up so that colours that are placed on top will be bright. Use a variety of colours and consider where each shape will be placed. For example, if your face is yellow like mine, you want your details probably to be another colour in order for them to stand out. Try to create a balance. Repeat the colours on a few different shapes. Again, place a couple of layers of acrylic paint on each object in order for the colours to remain flat and bright and this will help with your patterns standing out. Don't forget your white and black paint. This will also help these features stand out on your face. Once your colours are dry, have a play around with your shapes. Take photos so you remember what works best. Now it's time to add your Sandra Silberg's wig style patterns. Stripes, dots, stripes and dots, as well as a myriad of other gorgeous patterns look fabulous. I use Posca and acrylic markers here. You can paint on your design, it just takes longer and I find that I'm usually in a hurry and I want this to be done. This is actually my favourite part of the whole process. I love the design, I love the patterning, and you know, I'm a major fan of Sandra Silberg's wig and she does it so well. Don't forget to check her out. She has a rare condition called synthesia. Someone who suffers from synthesia can hear, taste, and see colour quite extraordinary. So I encourage you to think about the colours you use on top of your acrylic paint. You want them to be complementary or maybe you want them to be contrasting or maybe you just want your colours to stand out and your patterns to complement each other when you put them together. Have a play around. Use your art journal to sort of work out what patterns work best for you. So I did a black outline around every single shape and I'm also about to contradict myself because I loved putting this together. I used Yoohoo liquid glue and I also used a bunch of masking tape. I found the whole process incredibly satisfying. I really liked how it turned out. Process is important, but also it is so lovely to get something that you truly enjoy. I particularly like her eyelashes. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> 